So what is the meaning of a composite number? Hi, I'm Jimmy. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years now, and I'm here to discuss with you what composite numbers are. Now, if you know what prime numbers are, composite numbers are actually numbers that are exactly that, not prime. So there's actually a kind of an opposite relationship between the two. So here's the definition of a, of a composite number. It is an integer greater than one. Now, by integers, we're talking about whole numbers, but those whole numbers are going to be greater than one. That is not prime. Now, remember, a prime number is a number whose factors are one in itself. Numbers like 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11, and I can keep going, are examples of prime numbers because those numbers I just mentioned, the only numbers that will go into it are one and themselves. Composite numbers involve more than one and itself as factors. So here's a couple of examples for you. We've already mentioned two and three are primes, so they wouldn't be composite numbers. But four is a composite number because two is a factor of four. Two will go into four. Five is prime, so it's not composite. But six is a composite number because besides one and six, two and three are also factors of six. Two and three will go into six. Seven is a prime number, so it's not composite. But the number eight is, because besides one and eight, two and four will go into eight as well. So eight is composite. You can definitely say nine is a composite number as well, because besides one and nine, three goes into nine as well. Ten, besides one and ten, two and five go into ten. Eleven is a prime. But 12 is also composite. I can keep going, but as you can tell, the number of primes are pretty infinite so far, and the number of composite numbers are also just as long. So I'm Jimmy, and this has been the meaning of a composite number.